Welcome to another episode on the Home Tech Talk podcast. My name is Jake. And my name is Aiden. On this episode, we caught up with Boris from the Untwist tool. Yeah, in this episode, it was really cool to hear about the troubles and pains that had been suffered that led to the creation of the Untwist tool and to get a live demonstration from the tool creator themselves. And if you are liking our content, feel free to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date. Boris, welcome to the Home Tech Talk podcast. Thanks for having me, guys. No problems. Well, we have your Untwist tool in front of us here. If you wanted to give our listeners a bit of a background into yourself and how you entered the industry. Not a problem. Uh, my name is Boris. Uh, I'm the founder of the uh, Untwist tool. And uh, I used to work as a AV and network technician a couple of years ago. I started, you know, learning the basics how to you know terminate cat wires and my job was pretty much to work in a server room or building a rack or working on the patch panel and that's you know almost every other technician who's in the same field would end up at some point of his life stuck in a closet and you know work all day long and twisting the wire terminating it and, you know, it's just, you know, we have to admit it, it's no fun at all. And after a while, your fingers definitely are super sore. And it's, I just was, I was not, I, I didn't want to accept that there is no tool that actually can help you speed up and make that process actually easier. Because I would be surrounded with multiple tools to strip the wire to, uh, you know, multiple, you know, just the flush cuts to make the you know to make the, the the top of the wire straighter. A lot of different brands and styles of crimpers and you know punch down tools. You name it. There's multiple and variety of tools. But when it comes to the untwisting, you would still use your fingers. Some people were telling us you know use a flathead screwdriver and just try going you know in between the pairs and then you pull it up. But that would put a lot of tension on and you know pressure on the wires itself and uh it could sometimes cause that when you you know trying to test if the wire is terminated properly it would just not work and you would be like why so my mentor kind of told me not to do that and you know he was always uh, suggesting to use the fingers which is the most kind of simplest and safest way to you know terminate the wire well Again, I didn't want to accept that. And then I started thinking how I can do this, how I can do this better. And it took me 22 different versions. And I uh, have them all right here in the box, a bag. And the 23rd version actually was successful. And this right here was the uh, version one. And I would use a precision screwdriver and I would be, you know, using it still manually. I would go, you know, until the wire started untwisting and I would then go down, down, you know, to the bottom of it and I would pull back and I would use the groove to make it straight. So it was awesome. People started liking it and then I kind of was able to motorize it. And also we were listening to our customers because as you can see, the first version only had six grooves and the fins inside were facing the opposite direction. Also, people were complaining that this, because it's magnetic, wasn't strong enough. So when you would pull the wire, it would pull the tool out. All these things kind of helped me to start thinking about the uh, version two. Also, I should definitely mention that when I was you know, already selling the V1, that caught an eye from uh, two of my partners now who were also in the same industry and they were also kind of in the same boat. They just didn't want to accept that there's no solution for this problem. So they joined me into this venture and three of us put our heads together and we started, you know, thinking and developing and we came up with a version two. And version two had a really good success. We actually went to um, Las Vegas in March 
uh, on one of the biggest trade shows, ISC West, and we won an award for uh, best in emerging technologies, which was huge. And uh, ever since then, we are just trying to uh, supply the demand. It's so far super and we are happy, but we did not stop there. We also wanted to uh, make the pro version because you know the first version was kind of good with Cat 5 E and Cat 6 wires who were, let me put it this way, it was not ideal, but it would help with the Cat 5 E, Cat 6. Version 2 was specifically made for those Cat 5 E and Cat 6 uh, types of wire. And then now, obviously, we're in 21st century and it's 2022 and not a lot of people are using Cat 5 E anymore. We are already in the Cat 6A and Cat 7 and I can't even imagine what's going to happen with Cat 8 when that becomes uh, a standard. So we wanted to develop a, a better version, which is a pro version. And we should see that announced uh, by the end of September. The goal is that we, you know, to start selling it also by the end of September. I can definitely tell you uh, a little bit about the pro version. The pro version will have uh, stainless steel blades inside and it will be almost exactly the same shape just the blades inside are going to be stainless steel which will allow us to work with a thicker and uh thicker wire and uh, also the wire where the twist ratio is uh you know higher than what you find in cat 6 and some versions of cat 6a so it's going to be that little overlap how can i put this like a little bit of overlap in between cat 6 and cat 6a because both tools could be used depending on the manufacturer and the and depending on the thickness of the actual conductors that are inside of the category wire idea behind the untwist tool was to make the life of just a you know junior level technician to like his job not to run away and it's definitely made to speed up and make the job super easy and super fun and you know it's also we can also say that people who like to buy tools that's another tool that you can have in your toolbox i love buying more tools <laughs> don't tell my wife that <laughs> it's the reality like everybody does that it's you know like you oh awesome let me let me buy it and then the point is like sometimes you will buy the tool and you would just have it sit in your tool bag you know and you would not you would not be able to use it. And that's not our goal at all. Our mission is literally to show to people how to use it properly, how you can you know, make your job easier and how you can be more efficient. And then even if you have a hundred runs to terminate in one day, you won't be, you know, you know, your fingers won't be sore the next day. You will still come back to work and still maybe do an, another hundred more, which is on a long run, definitely uh, super productive for the for the company where you're working, or maybe you are you you have your own company. It's also I'm trying to promote that when it comes to the keystones, where we usually do not untwist the wire completely, you can still use the untwist tool. I'm working on a um, tutorial and following with the blog how to do that as well. When you're having like a 48 panel patch panel with the keystones, how you can actually make your job way easier than it is at, at this point yeah awesome well we do have one here in front of us today and i was wondering if you would give our audience a bit of an intro and how to use the tool yes of course so um this here is the uh version 2 and twist tool v2 also i forgot to mention that the v2 version and the pro version will come with this coupling uh boot which is red colored and it's a silicone boot that also holds this in place better when on the when you're pulling the untwist tool back it will just keep it you know kind of more solid in place and also it does provide a little bit of shock absorption so if you drop the tool if you miss your if you want to put it in your pocket and you miss the pocket or, or, or a tool belt or something if it lands right on the hand on the head it's just not gonna do any damage to the driver or to the head 
And additional to this, I forgot to mention that the Antwist tool is uh, 3D printed in the United States. And that's one of the reasons why the tool, I believe that this any tool like this was not was not able to be made before we had a 3D printing technology, just because of the uh, tolerances on the fins inside are super, super small and super precise because we are we're working with 0. 0.0 millimeters. Yeah, right. I did not realize that was 3D printed. Yeah. See how technology, like, it came a long way, 3D printing especially. It's using the um, HP uh, MJF uh, 3D printer. It's an industrial type of printer, and the material is like nylon 12, I think nylon PA12, and it's super solid, super resilient. You can't, like, if you, if you, if you hit the tool with a hammer, it, you, you won't be able to break it. You, you might squeeze it, but if you hit it on the other side, it's just going to go back in place. It's... Like I said, it took me 22 different versions to, to figure this out, but you know, the new version is going to be even better than that. Cool. So that means production is just limited to the amount of printers you have to run. Yes, that's correct. And also, be, be, after the 3D printing, we have the assembly product, and you know, it's it's there's a whole story behind how this is getting assembled and 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 all that. But it will get better. <laughs> we are growing, and it will get better. And more organized for sure. Uh, so yes, this is the. Uh, I have a Cat Six uh, wire here, and I'm gonna strip again. So this is the standard part that everybody else would do. You would, you know, take, you know, strip the wire. You would separate the pairs, and instead of, you know, going doing. So you would use your fingers to to go, you know, to untwist it, and then in. You know, with this tool, we will, you know, the most important thing is to make the tool spin first because it's, you know, there's no whole lot of science behind it. It's the centrifugal force and a little bit of pressure and the wires will start separating itself. So the first way of how we like to promote to use the tool is you can literally make the tool spin and, and come on top of the wire. And once you see that the wire is, as you can see, it's... Um, already being straight you can use uh, separate it you can use the grooves and it's it's straight so that's the most easiest way to do it and it's definitely saves you time and saves you you know your fingers for sure the other method of using the tool is where you would have the tool spin you would come down all the way to the bottom of it you would not you would have to stop so the twist still is up above the you know still doesn't go untwisting process does not go inside of the jacket when you're down below you would pinch the top of the wire with your thumbs and you would pull back so on the way back you already see that the wire is straight and if it's not straight up to your standard you can use the grooves to make it straighter and that's 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 it. Pretty simple. Yes, sir. And I should definitely say that uh, once fully charged, the driver can take. I know for the fact that I did more than eight hundred uh, pairs, and it was you know I, I know I did that, and I never never charged it. So I know it can last for for a long time. And also, if you're working in a server room where there's, you know, not a lot of light, it has a a little bit of an LED that also helps. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for your introduction to the Untwist tool. It's been great to have you on. And for our audience, how do they find any more information about the Untwist tool? Our official website is the untwisttool.com and untwistedtech.com. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube channel as well. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And I should definitely mention that we are uh, selling the Antwist tool through Tech Tool Supply as our main distributors, distributor, and we also have an Amazon store. We'll have all the links below in the description for everybody to click. So thank you for coming on the Home Tech Talk podcast. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you for watching. So tell me, Jake, what did you like about the Antwist tool? I really like the fact that the tool head is 3D printed. What about yourself? I really liked the unique way they went about solving a very specific problem and created a great tool to, to solve that problem. 
And if you are liking our content, feel free to like and subscribe to keep up to date. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Home Tech Talk. We'll catch you on the next episode.